So here is the, the pop-up proof closed and if I go over here with one hand I can lift it and here is the roof. So the roof itself is an XMOD roof that I acquired and um, so you will notice that this one does not have any alpine windows uh, but I don't care, I don't need them um, because uh, that will be up in the roof or over the bed and so I don't need these windows, I'm gonna have some windows in the fabric anyway. Um, one very important point about the roof is I decided to go with the option of not cutting the roof. If you look at some builds like the uh, uh, Alucabi carriers, what they do is they have in the front here the roof that will continue the same angle of the uh, the, the windscreen, uh, so it will be shifted back. The whole roof will be shifted back, and that means that they have to cut the roof in the back, okay, here, and they finish it with like uh, with a plain uh, piece of aluminium. Uh, I decided not to do that because, well, I was lucky enough to find another roof, but that kind of build you can do it yourself with your own roof and you can bolt and unbolt the roof from the frame. So this is a complete reversible build uh, and um, this is this way this can be more affordable. So the lower frame that you see here is made of aluminium. Uh, it's made out of uh, like uh, a four by two um, extruded aluminium, uh, one eight uh, thickness. So the reason why you have to go that tall uh, for the lower frame is simply because of the way the back door is created on the Land Rover Defender is that it goes inside the roof so we have to accommodate for the door um, going into the roof here and uh, so one first step was to take one beam of 4x2 and cutting it open to remove the, uh, the place for, for the door. And um, I actually kept that part and I welded it back up on the upper frame to close the uh, opening that you can see here on the roof. We'll talk about that later. So I will insert uh, some pictures during the process of welding the uh, um, closing up that section here. Um, and then, so you have a full length of four by two going all the way along the, uh, the, uh, the, the side of the car. And in the front we have another 4x2 but this time this one is um, on the horizontal side and this is also again because here in the front um, the window frame the uh, wind windscreen frame is also protruding into the roof so we have to replicate that curve in here. So this is like a rough cut, rough cut for now, um, but when it's bolted on, there will be like a, a proper seal. So all the parts were cut to length and uh, I had someone come and TIG weld the aluminium because I'm not equipped and uh, I don't have the skills to do it. So everything was welded uh, correctly, cut in an angle and, and welded here, then ground up. To, uh, to have a better finish. Um, and the way I did that was I used my actual roof 
to build everything and I had uh, another frame, a uh, windscreen frame, to be able to make myself uh, like a, a gabarit, uh, a gig to build everything based on one existing roof. The upper frame is made of uh, one by two extruded aluminium, uh, one eighth thickness as well, and this is bolted directly on the roof using the original uh, bolts inside. There are, there are bolts inside here. Um, so before putting it in place, I drilled. Marked, drilled, and inserted some rivnets. If it would focus, so I added some rivnets in the uh, in the frame, like that. So, in order to make a proper seal between the frame and the roof, uh, before bolting it, I used some urethane. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that is used to glue. A windscreen to a frame. Um, this is not the fast cure version and uh, as you can see it can be painted over so uh, this is very convenient uh, and that's gonna make a good seal and uh, so you won't see it here because of the primer that I already added to the aluminium um, but that will make a good seal. So like I mentioned before, the, um, the part that I actually cut and removed from the lower frame fits exactly in the, uh, the roof here and this has been welded in place. Um, so again, I'm not concerned by any leaks and um, it fits the, uh, the hole perfectly. So the hinge I used is like an aluminium continuous hinge or piano hinge and um, so this is just a cut part but it goes the whole length of, I mean the whole width of the truck and um, on top of having the, the aluminium hinge um, I did not want any water to come through between the uh, connections there so I wrapped around uh, some pretty heavy duty um, rubber that is connected like that and so this is what's facing the front of the truck okay and uh, no water can go behind the, the hinge so I'm going to show you um, on the truck itself here you can see the lower part the rubber here and the upper part so I'm in the process of painting but um, you will see like a black line here for the uh, the rubber um, hopefully this is like this is a pretty supple rubber that should not crack um, we'll see over time what it does so the hinge is right there uh, between the two parts and uh, so I'm gonna open the uh, the truck again the roof again and show you uh, what it does you can see the hinge in the back here and so it goes all the way so I have full confidence that this will not twist or break then of course there are gas struts here to be able to hold the roof uh, in its open position and uh, so a couple of um, tips for installing a gas strut there are basically two possibilities uh, for one dimension to install it so you have to to consider uh, the length of the gas struts when it's fully extended and you also have to consider the length when it's fully compressed um, so when closed, uh, the connection here and where this 
will connect over here on the lower frame um, and it's here actually so this is that distance is at minimum when the uh, the gas struts is fully compressed and um, what I did uh, here was uh, I aimed for 30 degrees angle for the roof when it's full open uh, and then you have to um, properly size the, the gas struts. These are 350 newton meters um, so about 35 kilograms uh, each what they can hold and uh, they're a bit uh, they're good or they're a bit light if I wanted to put anything on the roof I measured it's about 10 kilograms of force down to start closing the roof so for now this is good um, and I'm going to leave it that way eventually I might change them for stiffer uh, gas struts and this way I could uh, uh, potentially have a few items on the roof and so this is like the tricky part uh, it takes a bit of trial and error uh, there exist some websites where you can calculate the uh, positioning of the uh, uh, the gas struts depending on the length and depending on the uh, angle and the weight so you can look for these uh, website I'm gonna make a I'm gonna add a link in the description below um, and here you can see that the gas struts actually fits inside the upper frame so it's totally invisible and it does not take, take any space inside when the roof is closed um, and yeah, you also need to always install the gas struts with the reservoir on the top and this way the, uh, the main part here will always be lubricated and um, this is the proper way to install it. And finally for weatherproofing and for the uh, general stiffness of everything when the, uh, the roof is closed I added a 1.5 by 1.5 uh, square angle that has been tack welded onto the lower frame here um, and uh, there is also some urethane between the two parts to make a good seal so this is like the natural barrier for the water it's it's weatherproofing so any water uh, the tent finishing here will just flow outside the truck uh, but it's also act as a stiffener because the top frame will actually finish right here if I take The sample of the top frame, the top frame closes right there. So that will prevent the roof from moving left and right uh, when doing some off-roading because it will be completely boxed in by these uh, square angles. So you can see here if I close the roof Now everything finishes right square. Well there you go, that's the first introduction to the build and uh, there will be some other videos uh, one talking about the bed frame and how I will install it uh, then we're going to talk about the fabric of course uh, for the tent and uh, the painting, the preparation um, redoing some um, body work on the roof 
uh, because there were a few dents, so I'm working on that actually. And, um, and then uh, installing it uh, on the truck. So subscribe to the channel and uh, press the uh, notification button in order to get notified when you get uh, when there is a new video available. And uh, I'll be happy to share. Thank you.